Good morning, VSTAP Fishing Nation. It is Monday, June 5th. It's 8 o'clock. High tide is somewhere around like, I think, 10 o'clock, 9.50 ish, give or take. Uh, it just came down here. We had a weekend of some crazy northeast winds, 25 to 35 mile an hour uh, winds, almost sustained for, God, almost all day Saturday into Saturday night. Man. I am socked and locked in my uh, in my slip here with all that salt grass. I should be able to back out. I just updated the GPS with a new uh, new chip, new SD card for the map. So hopefully that'll uh, work and work smoothly. So far, so good. But we're going to slide out here, catch the last uh, part of this incoming tide, and see if we can grab some flounder. And definitely going to be here for the top of the outgoing. So fingers crossed, because this Saturday is like our seventh or eighth annual i can't even remember um tournament back here that captain jerry diamond jig charters and uh, shorewind kennels uh puts has put on it started out as an invitational and now it's just grown to to be actually in, in our area it's one of the biggest um one of the biggest tournaments for flounder down here um it rivals a lot of the, a lot of the other big ones so um getting ready to do a little scouting right for uh for saturday so it looks like we're gonna have some good weather on saturday finally too so all right guys don't forget down below instagram facebook be staff fishing nation let's go man shoot me a friend request follow like subscribe say your prayers to the man upstairs let's get out here and go fishing There he is, everybody. Beast at Fish Nation, Jimmy Ducks. Jimmy Ducks, what's going on, Ducker? Is this for all the cool guys hang out? It's awesome. How you doing so far? Okay. Beast at Fish Nation, look who we're pulling up on. Son of a gun. I knew it. I knew that GPS tracker I had in his boat was going to pay off one of these days. I knew it. We got a treat too. I'm gonna pull right up to them. I'm hoping my my buddy Brian Maloney from Maloney's Butcher Shop packed me a lunch. You didn't, did you? I didn't bring anything. Else. Son of a gun, Jerry, empty-handed he comes. <laughs> Best butcher shop in Blackwood and Glen in Washington Township. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. What's going on? Good morning, buddy. What's up? Uh, not much. Not much. You know it's gonna be a good morning when you pull up on Captain Jerry Lynch and the Diamond Jig. And his charter for the day is none other than my buddy, Brian Maloney of Maloney's Butcher Shop in Washington Township on the Black Horse Pike. Great people, good guy, and we had a good day on the water. Guys, where are you going? Oh, right here. Oh, where am I going? Guys, you, you believe Captain Jerry just asked me where I'm going? Where am I going? I'm going to be about 50 to 60 feet off of his bow. Uh, yo, hurry up, here comes the street sweeper. Oh man, I better get in, get my line in. Here comes the street sweeper. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> All right, guys. And that's a running joke we have down here with... Uh, Captain Brandon Hurd on the Avalon Lady. We call it the Street Sweeper. Man, she's no joke. All right, guys, let's see what we can do here. Let's get this show on the road. Spot lock to get myself all squared away. Now I gotta pick a rod, pick a rod. What are we gonna do, which rod? I think we're gonna go with the OTI. Let's go, OTI. OTI, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Captain America today. I don't know why I just got the Captain America feel. Of course, I just I'm opening up a brand new pack, and I know I have about four open packs somewhere in the in the boat, but that's okay. No shame. No shame. Captain America up top. We're gonna go with four inch gulp grub on the bottom in pink shine to go along with this pink shine jig head I have. All right, looking good, guys, looking good. Little bait holder, bait holder barb there, because I kept getting, these kept getting pulled off. Feed that all the way up, bring this down to me. 
Oh, the seagulls are laughing at me already. They're already laughing at me. Alright guys, we get a towel in my pocket, put that new SD card in it, seems like it's working, I got a funny feeling one of my SD card slots isn't working, so we'll have to figure that out, you know, I need to be cleaned, right, like everything else in this world gets crud, you know, things get cruddy, alright, see which way we're going here. All right, incoming tide. All right, incoming tide, and I need to turn this turn this ship around here. Oh God, there's a, there's a nibble, guys. There's a nibble. First nibble. First nibble. First nibble. Looks like Diamond Dave's got a small short. And I just missed a nibble. Alright. Come on, baby. Oh, Kenny Raker's here. We got all, all the Sharpies out today. Jimmy Ducks, Captain Jerry, Kenny Raker. Avalon Lee. Captain Brandon and me come on B stab let's go we got to do something here buddy trying all I can do is try I definitely think it's uh, the outgoing is going to be the tide to be on but I mean the guys are picking away still in here and I've had nothing but real short bites Beast that fishing nation. I just took a dive on the bow of my boat. Thank God, not overboard. <laughs> Felt like a pancake on the dip bow of my boat. Caught my foot caught, and uh, man, went down like a house of pancakes. And uh, luckily, I sprung right back up. Jeez, it's criminalizing. Thank God, I'm short. I don't have far to go. Sure. So I'm going to try and slide into Big Ed Slough here if I can. Trying to get away from the masses a little bit here. You guys, wait till you see this little... Oh, sundial. Look at that. Oh, all right. We're going to we're gonna spot lock and take a picture of that little guy. Little sundial. Little sundial. Look what he took. Look at that fish. Little sundial. Isn't that neat? He's like a little flounder. Not an ounce of meat on these things. Oh, man. He got a very opaque little mouth here. A little sundial, guys. Where's the sun? Look at him. Isn't that neat? A little sundial. And look. Look, you can see right through him. Right through him. Okay, guys. Go on. He took the uh, fire tiger. How about those apples? All right. Okay. Well, that's one. Guys, this is a good fish. This is a good fish. This is a great fish. I just gotta keep, keep them on. That's a cool fish. Alrighty. About darn time. All right, let's get you in the boat. Oh, you just got hung up that fast. All right, you just unhung yourself. That's going to be a keeper. Not sure what size yet, but I think that's going to keep. About darn time. Yeah, buddy. Oh, man, you jacked your mouth up a little bit here, pal. Yep, you definitely want to keep. Now, let's see what you're going to keep at.
Well, that's 18 and a half. 18 and a half inch fish. Oh, oh, come on, buddy. All right. That's awesome. 18 and a half inch fish. Where's the sun at? All righty. 18 and a half. Awesome. Grab a quick picture. We'll go about our merry way here. Okay. Nice. 18 and a half inch flounder. He is on a cold tag and he is in the aerator. We'll keep him alive in case we catch something a little bigger. But at the very least, B Stav is having flounder for dinner. Thank you, Jesus. So that might be a catch, clean, and cook. Hopefully, I remember to do it. Catch, clean, and cook. Kookaluk. You guys asked for it, and guess what? B Stav listened, and you got it. Watch to the end because we're going to clean this fish. All right. And then we're going good. to cook it. Oh my gosh, oh God, guys, this is a big fish. This is a big fish. Man, he just picked it up and snapped. Man, he's not that big. He's gutsy though, God, he's gutsy. We're gonna play with him a little bit, play him out. Come on, get off of there. Guys, you drive him into the net. Oh, oh, oh. Drive him in, oh, done. That's two fish. I made that move. Big Ed slew. That's two fish now. We just put in the boat. Two fish. We just Man, he just laid on it. All right, buddy. All right. Getting everything all sloppy down there. Hang on. I'd like to get you un unhooked as fast as I can here. Hey, got your eye, buddy. Got your eye. All right, we got you out. Nice fish. Another nice fish. He might go slot fish. Come on, baby. He might go slot. You might think it's funny, but it's slot. Come on. Slot fish. Slot fish. Yes, sir. <laughs> slot fish. He doesn't get cold. <laughs> he uh, he gets bled. He doesn't get cold, he gets bled. He's a slot fish. Open your mouth up there, Bunky. Come on. Come on, Bunkster. That's it. This way I don't take any chances of getting myself cut. Guys, again, bleed your fish. Bleed your fish, bleed your fish, bleed your fish. You get just nicer fillets. Bleed your fish. Get this guy bleeding out here. Let's see what he's doing. There's the bloodage. Keep it going. That's it. Good. Oh, hey, take it easy over there, buddy. That's two. That's two. We're setting up for a Jersey Slam. <laughs> I mean, at least a little Jersey. Not a Jersey Slam, but a Jersey Limit. If I can keep my head about me here. Where does it come from? Oh, it came from there. Alrighty. Guys, we're looking good here. Let's get back on the uh, back on the move. Oh man, what happened? Jerry left. Son of a gun. I was gonna call him. Yo, Jer. Just put two in the box. 18 and a half, 17 and a half. Man, you're not <laughs> you're not kidding though, honest to goodness. That's my good buddy, Jerry Lynch, everybody. <laughs> He's like, about time you got your ass together. He's right. I have not had my stuff together this year. So far though, we're there. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving putting these videos together for you guys. Oh, we're gonna fish this again. That's what you do. When you hit them, you go back over and hit them again, shorten your drifts, stay on top of them. Uh-oh. 
Oh, that was a good hit too, and I might have just jacked that up. Come on. That was a good hit. Oh, God. There you go. Oh, that's a little one. Don't forget, Second if you one get a fire, hit, tiger. they miss it, stuff it back in their face. Second one on the fire, tiger. Buddy, I don't even know how you're caught. Oh, you got to let go of that. Come on, let go. Let go. All right, here we go. Hmm, starting to think I need a fire tiger. Although, listen, those two big fish came off of the, came off of pink shine. So that's a second, second short on fire tiger. Guys, we put together a day. Uh-oh, got a little something on the on the camera there. Use the old buffalo gear bag here. You know what's funny? I only put one ice bladder in here today. I'm like, nope, I'm not putting two. I'm just gonna put the one ice bladder in here. Cause I probably won't need it, right? I'm just trying to like play the odds. You know what I mean? Get a little silly, play the odds, like kind of like psych psych the whole mojo psych everything out let me get this fish again because it still needs to be bled more that one's going to get put in there get this ball out of the way put you there where's that shorty at at 17 let's go buddy let's go pal you're coming with me you're coming with me buddy got you too good snag all right let me put the uh all right all right all right Take it easy. Put this back on. Oop. The water from the ocean. This guy here is going to get cut a little more because he didn't bleed completely. And then we're good to go. All right, beef staff. Uh, he's still bleeding. Still bleeding. Let's get you going here, buddy. And now you're bleeding more. All right, he's tucked away in there, safe and sound. That'll keep him nice and cold. Probably would have done a little better if I had the other, the other ice bladder. It's all right. Wash your knife off and let's get going here. And you'll see. That'll fill up in there, and that fish is going to keep getting fresh seawater in the event that I can call him, and he'll go back in. All right, let's make this drift again. Everything's secure. Good to go. Little hit right there, you creep. There's a fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the size of this little flounder. This is what's down there, these little potato chips. Oh my gosh. Alright, actually, buddy, you're in good shape. I think we could save, get you unhooked without. Messing your eye up or okay. oh. See you later. Poof. All right, gotta check the camera on that one. Yep, he got us. Hold on a minute. Hold on there. Hold on there, beast staff fishing. Hold on. How'd we do? All right, we got it. Oh man, that little guy hit and came back. And I mean, little guy. God Almighty. Oh, little guy hit and came back. Okay. Hit and came back. And my camera wouldn't turn on. Jeez, man, he's barely hanging on here. All right, let's get you done so we don't rip your mouth completely. Another little guy. Oh, 
Okay. Got him. Uh oh, what happened here? Good. Clowns are going to cut my drift off. Are you kidding me? Beast out fishing nation, please don't ever be this guy. This is a clown move. Literally sees my drift and pulls up, I don't know, 20 yards at best off the back of my boat and cuts my drift off. Just don't do that. I'm telling you, some people just, they just have zero etiquette. Man, I was on the phone with Bucktail Johnny, and uh, I had a fish was hitting me. Same spot that I had those other fish. Little, little hits. There are definitely some potato chips out here, guys. I'm looking for the whole bag. Looking for the enchilada. Come on. All right, Beast Out Fishing Nation, you guys always hear me talk about my buddy Sam Piper Dave right there. He's one of the Sharpies I'm always telling you about. And he brought me luck. He threw a potato chip my way. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Little potato chip. Man, these little guys, they're so aggressive, though, aren't they? Yeah. Sandpiper Dave. Guy is a master, master carpenter. And he's retired, but I'll tell you what. He's a master fisherman. Catches hundreds of flounder every season. I was talking to Jerry on the, on the phone. And I just hung something we need the net for. All right, I'm on in here. Oh, he's caught. All right, felt big. Might be a good slot fish. All righty. Literally was talking to Captain Jerry on the, on the radio. And this little guy decided to hit. Man, he hit like a ton of bricks. God almighty. It'd be great if they start back up and they fire back up here. Let's go. Let's see what you got here. Where are you hooked? Because I don't want to get that hook in me. All right. You're free. Good looking. Another good looking fish. What's he got on him? Oh, he's got some lice. Sea lice on him. Got going on there, buddy. All right, let's see what kind of length you are. Go from there. I don't think you're going to make the cut. Nope. Nope. Another good fish. Ah, I'll tell you what, they are the prettiest fish. Okay, buddy. Adios. Looks like I have this all to myself up here. Nobody wants to play with me, man. Where's their body at? All right, guys. This is the clean portion of a catch, clean, and cook do this out here hopefully you guys will be able to see this guys i come across you got a lot of meat up in here right a lot of meat here so i come across here and then down like this little angle okay not a lot of meat in here come across there got a lot of meat up in that shoulder and i like to turn it this way some people like to cut down here then flay out flay out and i like to do one big flay and then cut it in half it's just the way i was taught many moons ago so you come in here, ride that center line, press against the center bone, and just ride that line down. Okay? Ride that line. Okay? Come in here, ride it, pop yourself out the tail. Alright. Guys, I'm trying to tilt my hat at my head so you guys can see this. Now, see? Okay, you got, see these ribs? Okay, we got them on both sides. So, you just want to now. All you're going to do is get the tip of the knife in here and just kind of keep coming across, keep coming across, 
and this will start to give way. Okay, you can come around, spin it this way. Watch your thumb, watch your fingers, okay? You guys are getting this, I'm hoping. Come across here, boom, boom. Now, I have a more stout knife that I just bought at home. And uh, I was gonna start using that. I mean, you could really, sometimes you can whip through these. I know people that, when I tell you, they could have a flounder. They would have had this flounder flayed front and back already. So then you just ride this out, right up to what we call the ribbons, okay? These here, that's, that's the ribbons, so ride it out. That's that. Okay. There's one fillet. All right, one big fillet. Now you're gonna have a little couple bones up in here that we'll get out in a minute. All right, we're not gonna skin these yet. And guys, do not rinse your fish with fresh water. All right, you rinse your fish. If you do anything, I should have a bucket up here. If I had a lot of fish, I would bring a bucket up here and of salt water and let these fish sit in that salt water but i only have the two fish to do so i'm gonna right through it okay same thing on this other side do that cut and you're gonna ride that center line flatten your knife out okay push and you're riding the ri those ribs okay all those bones that skeleton you're riding that skeleton on the other side lift this up a little bit oh, i might have got through you just kind of ride the ribs ride the skeleton out the tail all right there we go come down like this now of course the white side's a little thinner so you want to be just as careful because you don't want to lose a lot of meat here you know you have the opportunity to really butcher this up and you don't want to lose meat so you know we killed this fish you shouldn't be wasting this fish now this is you actually got the rib like a big rib cage up in here and that's where you just cut through you know if you got a good knife these bones aren't that big Okay, and we're just going to come across. Boom. Boom, boom, like that. Okay. What I like to do is I like to just cut down on here. And just ride that out. Come across. Now, these are what a lot, a lot of people save these, these ribbons for, uh, for bait. In New Jersey, if you are going to use flounder belly as bait, you have to have that flounder's carcass slash rack, and it needs to be from that day. Oh, no. Right on top of the grass, you dope. All right. Now, when you're skinning them, you're going to go like this, guys. Some people like to pull the fillet. I like to maneuver my knife. So, grab the edge the end lay your knife flat lay your knife flat uh, somebody's calling me lay your knife flat I'm just kind of back and forth some people will grab the fillet itself the skin and and pull the skin back and forth like that I don't like doing that I just not the way I I fillet pull them ribs those uh, ribbons off throw them in the water right pull them ribbons off Chuck them in order. Now, what I am going to do though, because I don't want, I don't want my meat touching anything else. Just lay the meat back on top of that. Back on top of that. Okay, right here you'll see I'm cutting this little V out. There's always bones right there. So listen, use your hands, use your fingers, feel for those bones, cut them out. There is nothing worse than getting a piece of fish with bones in it. Take pride in your fillet. Why? I don't see any out today, but the uh, seagulls will snatch your fillets right off the table. You turn your back, they're gone. And all your hard work is, is for nothing. You just fed the seagulls prime meat. All right, so that's done there. Pull them little, pull them ribbons off. Okay, now you got some bones right in here, guys. Bones right in there. I'm going to cut in. Right, cut in here. Watch your fingers. Be stav, you dodo bird, right there. Cut that off. This is a little bit of stomach, right there. Cut that off. There's your fillets. One, two. Okay. I like to rinse them off in salt water, and then throw them right in a ziploc baggie. Throw your skin in. Let the crabs and the birds do their thing with the skin. I'm going to go rinse these, put them in a zippy. 
Not bad, right? I should have a little bucket up there, but oops, I might have made a mistake with that one. That's going to stank later. <laughs> I'll get a call from Big Ed. Yes, what in God's green earth is stinking? All right, guys, this is where you got to be careful too. You don't drop these things in. Look at all these reeds. So all I'm going to do, real quick. That's it. Little rinse, little rinse. Pop them in a plastic Ziploc baggie, and you are in good shape. Look, 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 look at all that grass that came up on top of that that stationary uh, deck. Pretty crazy, huh? So that's one fish right there. Boom. And that is you just witnessed Beast Ave's dinner. All right, let's get back up here. I got one more fish to do, and then I'll show you how we cook these when I go home. All righty, Beast Ave fishing nation this is the cook portion of today's catch clean and cook we caught them we cleaned them now i'm gonna show you how to cook them i just got this ninja i don't even know how many cord it is it's pretty big i just got this ninja uh air fryer i want to say deep fryer air fryer so when you're using them you want to heat them up preheat them so basically going to push air fryer air fry push it twice so it lights up Come down in your time here to three minutes. Boom, boom, boom. Three minutes. Make sure you pull this back off the wall and hit start. It, that's it. I love that little beep. It's like. Doo -doo. So we got three minutes. Let that thing heat up. Now, let me show you how we're going to prepare this. Real easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm getting like uh, like Heiko over here from South Florida Fishing Channel. I got my my. Uh, protein powder trying to get myself all buffed up actually there ain't nothing buff about me i'm actually i'm getting a uh getting an mri tonight thank god Let's see what's going on with this shoulder but okay here we go here are our fillets so this was one fillet right these were attached i basically i cut them down the middle you know i separate them and i took the little like it's almost like a bloodline i just cut that off on both of these okay so we're clear there nice and easy guys this is super super simple non-stick cooking spray basically it's an extra virgin olive oil that's all it is evoo just going to give them both a little spray nothing fancy just a little bit because we're going in the air fryer right that'll help crisp them up a little bit so that's that spray each fillet make sure you feel for bones first guys i'm going super simple because i'm starving and i want to eat obey that's it I'm doing them in Old Bay, and uh, it's not just for crabs, and it's good. I'll doctor it up maybe a little bit, but I'm going to go a little bit of Old Bay on each one. Let's see here. I love Old Bay. You can't never have enough Old Bay. So, let's get in there with the Old Bay. Good enough. Good enough. Guys, again, this is simple, right? So many different ways you could do this. And I'm not flipping them. I'm not doing both sides. Now, I'm going to throw a little cayenne pepper on there. Not a lot, guys. But just enough to add a little bit of heat. Just enough. Not too crazy. A little bit of heat right there. That is it. You want to throw maybe a little black pepper on there. Just a little, little crack -a of black pepper. That's all she wrote. That is all she wrote. That's what we're doing. Nice and easy, right? Rinse them. So this is the one time you can rinse them off in, in clean, you know, fresh water in your sink, right? Ice cold water. Rinse them off real quick. Can't get any dirt or debris or, you know, whatever. Scales or whatever that was left on them from the, uh, the filleting process. Pat them dry. Okay, everything got patted dry. And spray them once a little bit with... Uh, extra virgin olive oil guys you could even just drizzle olive oil and, and rub it on with your hand Old Bay seasoning cayenne pepper extract or cayenne pepper rather cayenne pepper extract is what I used to have on my gun belt when I was a cop and these are going right in here so we're warmed up don't touch this okay and this is all we're doing we're laying these right in here you hear them sizzling already? Oh my god, I'm so hungry. That's it. We're going right in here. That's a little long, this one. 
So we're gonna have to just kind of like make them wrap around a little bit. Nothing too crazy. All right, easy enough. Right back in the air fryer. Hit air fry. Hit it once, hit it twice till it illuminates. I'm gonna bring the heat down a little bit. Wait, bring the temperature down a little bit. So first off, we'll do time. I'm gonna bring the time down to about six minutes. Six minutes, temp is at 390. We're gonna bring that down to 375. And away we go. I'll see you guys in five minutes and 55 seconds. All right, Beast Out Fishing Nation. I got my boy Smokey here. So we eat together, right? Smokey. Okay. Good job, buddy. Good job, Pally. You have dinner and I'm gonna have my dinner momentarily. Right, Bob? He's my best pal, guys. That's my buddy. All right, buddy. Here's your bubble. My pal. All right. Enjoy your dinner, Smokey. Love you, buddy. Nice. Moment of truth. Oh. Looking good. Looking good like a rock and jock should. Alrighty, so let's get these out. See if I can get these out here without jacking everything up. It's the only problem is trying to get in here and get everything pulled out nicely. Ah, uh, there's one piece. Let's see if we can get this other piece out. Oh, they shrunk up a little bit too, which makes life a little easier. Let's try to we can get this whole piece right here. Nice, nice, nice. We got two pieces. Literally, fresh flounder just caught a couple hours ago. Let's put this back in here. So, here we go. Let me take this off so I can make sure I'm getting a good view here for you. So, alrighty. So, we got our fresh flounder. I made homemade roasted peppers. And uh, I know a lot of people like to put lemon on their, on their fish. And I do too, but I'm going to have my lemon in a different form. I'm going to have a little bit of limoncello. What do you think? Let's spin this around. Be Stab Fishing Nation. Guys, thank you so much for coming into my home. Uh, next time, call first before you knock. But thank you so much for being here. I sincerely appreciate the suggestions for the Catch, Clean, and Cook. I do read every single comment down below and uh, I try to respond. I try to at least hit a thumbs up, hit the like button, the thumbs up, the love button, you know, the heart. And I do try to respond. And if I don't, don't take it personally. I missed it and I get back to them. I really do. So today we went uh, two for six on flounder. So two keepers out of six flounder caught. Plus I had that one, uh, that one little sundial caught, right? So all good. So we had seven fish caught. Didn't really uh, get the bite I planned on or I was hoping for on the outgoing, but luckily it got there at the bottom of the incoming. And I'm telling you, bottom of the outgoing is usually like that last hour of the outgoing is usually a good time too. Because again, remember I tell you, everything starts out wide and as that water recedes, right, everybody concentrates down into the deeper channels. So it was a good day, guys. Good day. Saturday will be here before we know it. So hopefully I'll get out one more time to do some recon. Down below, Instagram, Facebook. Please, I'd love to have you. Hit like. Hit subscribe. Say your prayers to the man upstairs. Say a little prayer for my shoulder. Getting my uh, MRI tonight at 7.50. I'll let you guys know how I made out in the next video. Get out there. Go fishing. Come home. Go cooking. Cheers. Mmm. Bon appetito.